Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we got the National Championship rematch Michigan versus Washington preview. Going to be going over everything you guys need to know about this game. Key matchups. Uh, there are actually some matchup problems for both these teams going into this game. Going to be going over those uh, multiple key points, key statistics, and ultimately everything you need to know and what you should expect going into this game. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. Uh, so again, this is the national championship rematch however literally everything has changed since that national championship game on both teams both have lost multiple players both lost their head coaches washington is basically a whole brand new team so definitely ha a lot has changed since the national championship game uh, michigan is still a top 10 team washington three and two going into this game and when you look at both these teams both these teams have their flaws so far this season. Uh, right away, I mean, going into the game, you look at Washington, they really probably should have beat Rutgers. They lost 21-18, missed a game-winning field goal. They also missed multiple field goals in that game, but they outgained uh, Rutgers by a lot. They had 521 total yards. Rutgers had 299, and Washington had no turnovers. Same thing happened in their loss to Washington State. They lost 24-19. They outgained them as well. So Washington's problem heading into this game, they can't finish drives off. Uh, now they can drive the ball down the field. They don't have a problem with that, but they just cannot finish drives. They went two for 12 on third downs against Rutgers. That is a huge problem for this Washington offense going into this game against an elite Michigan defense that, let's be honest, have basically kept Michigan in a lot of games so far this season with some poor offensive production, especially in the second half for Michigan. That's another thing Michigan will have to do in this game. They have to show up in the second half because both against USC and Minnesota only won by three points. And it was the second half letdowns uh, that really let Minnesota and USC get back in the game and almost won both of those games. So let's go ahead and first start with the Washington offense going up against this Michigan defense. Again, Washington, they know how to move the ball down the field. They just cannot finish drives off. They went two for 12 on third downs in that game against Rutgers, two for four on fourth down as well. They also committed six penalties for 69 yards, but this is an offense that has looked pretty good so far this season. Again, they just can't finish off drives and get in the end zone, which is a major problem. And when you look at their quarterback, Will Rogers, transfer from Mississippi State, he has 1,354 yards, 10 touchdowns, no interceptions on the season. So he is definitely not the problem on offense. He has played really good this season for Washington. But here's the thing, and this is a matchup problem, I think, for this Washington offense, it's going up against this Michigan defensive line. Now, Washington's offensive line, you know, they have done a decent job this season so far. However, they lost a lot of players on the offensive line this past offseason. They have given up uh, seven sacks, and again, they have been pretty decent this season. Uh, they actually have 173.2 rushing yards per game. So uh, Michigan's defense, though, only allowing 68.6 rushing yards per game. So expect that number to drop a lot for this Washington offense. Michigan does not let you run the ball, especially with Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant in there. So I do think that's going to be a matchup problem for Washington. We saw it against USC. This Michigan defensive line was just manhandling USC's offensive line. They had four sacks in eight tackle for loss in that game against USC and I think they have to do the same exact thing they did to Miller Moss against USC uh, they have to do the same thing against Will Rogers and that is disrupting Rogers just like they did against Miller Moss Michigan also had five sacks last week against Minnesota without uh, both actually Will Johnson the cornerback and Josiah Stewart uh, who had two sacks against USC so they're getting both those players back this week against Washington and so far this Michigan defense has nine sacks seven tackles for losses in just two Big Ten games. So I know this Washington offense can move the ball, but they're going up against a different animal this week against Michigan, and that defensive line 
probably one of the best, if not the best, defensive line in college football. One thing Michigan does struggle with, uh, we saw last week, and that is going against an up-tempo offense. So we could see Washington do that. Uh, but again, you know, the key for this Michigan defense, getting off the field on third downs. Washington 2 for 12 on third downs, and they have got to finish off drives if they want to win this game and I do think Michigan's defense uh, they are going to be the ones that keep them in this game and ultimately win this game for Michigan because Michigan's offense going into this game they are struggling especially in the second half and that's why I wanted to talk about Michigan's offense going up against this Washington defense now Washington's defensive front is kind of banged up right now they have Javon Parker who is a junior defensive tackle he tore his Achilles against Rutgers and he will miss the remainder of the season right now Washington ranks 51st nationally by allowing 121.8 rushing yards per game and we saw Rutgers they had multiple big runs in that game uh, that really you know kind of won them this game you know getting points on the board they had 299 total yards and 184 of those yards were rushing yards and uh, guess what Michigan's blueprint on offense is running the ball their passing game has struggled now it has improved from USC to Minnesota they had 32 passing yards I believe they had like 84 passing yards against Minnesota so it improved a little bit but it's definitely got to get a lot better Alex Orgy will be making his third star in Michigan will have a full healthy Colson Loveland who did have limited snaps against Minnesota so that's going to be huge because Colson Loveland right now for Michigan's top leading receivers he has more yards than the next four receivers combined so he's a big deal in Michigan's passing game for sure one thing that has been struggling for Michigan is pass protection though uh, so we'll see how they do against Washington's defensive line again they are a little bit banged up so Michigan you know, they could be in for another day kind of like they had against USC ripping off some big runs and they may have to lean on that again in this game if they can't get the passing game going but this Michigan offense they can't have any turnovers they can't especially have those turnovers on the road in an environment like this and give you know Washington's offense a short field to work with they have to sustain long drives keep their defense off the field and win the position battle if they do all those things I think they're going to win this game I would also like to see more creative play calling though for Michigan uh, you know maybe some more design runs for orgy also having edwards and mullings out there at the same time they can just do a lot more creativity with the players they have they just got to be able to utilize them in the right way so hopefully we see a more creative play calling from Kurt Campbell and Sharon Moore and again Michigan must fix their second half struggles if they want to win this game they cannot come out the way they did especially against Minnesota they can't do that on the road because it's going to be a lot of momentum going in Washington's favor the crowd's going to be going up against you and uh, they're going to be dealing with a lot of adversity if they struggle like they have been in the second half so I know a lot of people are picking Washington to win this game they are favored in this one but I just don't see that happening I think Michigan will get this win and get out of Husky Stadium with a W I'm gonna go 24-21 another three-point win for Michigan although it could be more than that so we just have to wait and see you know I think Michigan uh, they have the advantage in the trenches I think that's going to be a matchup problem potentially for Washington and I think that's why Michigan is going to win this game because I think they will beat Washington in the trenches that's how they win most of their games now for Washington though they have the better offense it is evident they just have to be able to finish drives so it's going to be interesting to see you know both these teams have their flaws both these teams have a chance to win this one but again, I do see Michigan winning this one as long as they don't struggle in the second half. They are the better team. So as long as they go in there, take care of business, they should be able to get this win against Washington. But let me know your guys' score predictions, how you see this game going in the comment section down below. And uh, other than that, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. And other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Go Blue.